G'day everyone, JT here. A little while ago I was chatting on Twitter about the smoothness or lack of smoothness within Tinkercad primitives. By that I mean cylinders, spheres, that sort of stuff. The problem is that when you draw a cylinder, expand it out, I'll type in the values 90 by 90, you can see some obvious flat spots. Now being a primitive object within the environment we have some controls. We can increase the number of sides, decrease the number of sides. Let me wake it right up full. Now although it looks smooth the closer you get the more obvious is it is that it isn't smooth. This will export on your STL, this will print on your printer. This is no good. Alright, so what to do? Well, let me hide that object. I had to think about it and I thought, well, if the limitation is within Tinkercad, then obviously if I import a file that I've made super smooth, everything's going to work nicely. Here's my 100mm circle that I created in Illustrator, exported as uh, SVG. It's just a keyline circle. When I import here now, I get a completely smooth circle. Uh oh, I can already see that it isn't. Okay, well, that was my brilliant idea. Gone. Delete. Let's bring back the original. Okay, so let's assume for a moment that this was 60 degrees, uh, 60 sides. Now, 60 is a nice round number when it comes to circles because six of those fit evenly into 360 degrees. So, what if I could reduce the overall flatness, number of sides, by duplicating and rotating this object? Duplicate, change color, so I can see obviously what I'm about to do. Now, from here, if I rotate it at 6 degrees, it sits exactly where it was. If I rotate it at perhaps 3 degrees, that's halved the amount of flat spots on, or flatness, duplicated the number of flat spots on the object. So now, when I zoom in, the flat spots are now half as wide as they once were. If I were to delete the red object you can see that the orange ones are this wide. If I undo, now the orange ones are half as wide. Okay, well that's pretty cool. So, alright, what if we select all, duplicate once more, but this time, instead of 3 degrees, we go 1.5 which in theory is splitting the distance again. And then select all, duplicate, 0.75. And then select all, duplicate, 0.375. Now it goes to 0.38, uh, but that's close enough for what we're talking about. I've just introduced a whole bunch of flats but they're much much narrower select all color them the same zoom in see those lines that is now how fine I've been able to make my circle okay well that's pretty clever so I could send that out to people and you know, do whatever, and they'd accidentally do this, and they'd accidentally do that, and they'd, or they'd ungroup it, or whatever. Okay. So what I really want is a single object that is this shape and size. Tinkercad is a really cool feature. If you have a model, and you want to make it into a single object, you select all the parts. I haven't grouped just to show you, okay, haven't grouped, select all the parts, create a part here, my demo circle, I 
I now have an object that Tinkercad thinks is a single object. So let me color this one differently so that we know which one's which. So the red one is the original parts. The orange one is a single part, ungroupable, very smooth, lots of lines, lots and lots of lines. Then I shared this guy and that is literally how I did it. So overall I'm very happy with the results that I've achieved using this technique. Uh, importantly, uh, if I were to uh, duplicate this object, move it aside, shrink it a little bit perhaps, uh, extend it upwards, pull it down a frag, make it a hole, select all, line up, center, center, group, it behaves as a normal Tinkercad object. Obviously it's having a good old think, but the level of smoothness uh, this result has achieved is significantly better. Um, I don't know what the overhead is for Tinkercad now that we've got this level of smoothness, but I tell you what, um, I couldn't be more pleased with uh, what I've been able to achieve. I will attempt to do the same sort of technique for cones and spheres and uh, other uh, primitive objects within uh, Tinkercad. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you like this sort of content, uh, give it a like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, hopefully I will have some more good things for you to watch in the near future. Thanks again, I'm JT and this is the Tinkercad Smooth Circle.